watch how we shot right over. You, you can see the lead, that Michael Pathé. I like the way he pronounces that name there. In the nice white outfit today. She's got the shorts on because it's rather hot out. And uh, he's bowling here in the seventh frame. And look out, six, seven, ten. But Michael still leads in this match by 21 pin, 31 pin. Yeah, but at one point, Michael had a 41 pin edge. Uh, 31 pin edge, I'm sorry. Uh, he opened last frame, it was Scott DeCauley, uh, I opened and uh, it still stayed at 31 pins. Now with this foot here, he gives Scott a chance to close in a little bit, four frames left, anything still going to happen. He could make this and that could happen too, but uh, well, not, not on this given day. Uh, 208 now, seventh frame, and Scott Sicoli. He's got that wristband on there. Watch his approach a little bit. Nice form. Can you believe he's only in seventh and three? He's got form like yeah, somebody who's bowled for ten years. Got very, very good form there. He opened in the fifth and the sixth, and that's really been his downfall. He started the match off very nicely, four spares in a row. But Michael had that double in the fourth and the fifth, and that's really been carrying him just a little bit. Scott hasn't been able to throw a strike, and that's been, yeah. been hurting him a little bit too. Missed a five pin, Michael. It's going to be tougher to catch Michael Pathé if he, uh, he continues to open here. He's going to have to throw some strikes now. He's trailing by 31 pins, three frames left. He's got to throw a double here, or he's got to, you know, he's got to hope Michael is going out, but I don't think he can always, always count on the other ball helping you out. You have to go out and take the bull by the horns and make it happen. A strike, but I think he found. Foul light is on. He fouled. No, he didn't. Where's the... No, there's no foul light on. No, the foul light was on. He fouled. <laughs> Maybe I'm mistaken. Nope. I guess not. Oh, he gets that strike. What do I know? No, our scorekeeper says no. Okay. Well, John Tramp says no, then it's no. So you can't see the foul lights over here because the TV55 banner is over the foul light. Yeah. See, it, the foul light is on the top of the triangle. I see. It's a yeah. 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 It's tricky for us to foul light. And Michael, after striking, leaves five. One way you can tell on these machines if you foul is the machine the sweep will come down and sweep the pins away and run that step into the rack. So you can tell that way also. I have a mistake. That's all right. It's not the first time, and it certainly will not be the last. That's for sure. <laughs> well, Marco Pate making a run for the roses here, and he threw another open. Oh, Eddie, reaching deep into the cliche book. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> Marco Pate, 236 in the ninth. Scott Cacali, if he could call me, if he could throw a strike here, would be right back in the thick of it. Right now, if you look, if you if you stay right there, uh, Director Bill Shine, there's a little pan left action there. You'll see Michael is talking to Sid, and uh, that's not a good idea. <laughs> I stay as far away as Sid as I could. Sid is uh, the Sid is one of our assistants. Not many people talk to him. Comes up and kicks out the five pin for another strike. A three bagger for Scott. This match is all tied up. Well, actually. Scott Kukoli actually has a one pin lead. If Scott was to throw a nine spare, he would have 256. Michael Pathé could throw a strike and a spare in the tenth to finish with 256, and we could have a tie. Hmm. Come Scott, throw a little wide, and let the one, two, eight. That's important for him to make this, because if he makes this, he'll finish with 254. And Michael, nine. Force Ma Michael Pathé right to get a, a mark, a strike or a spare, and an eye count to win. So these are big pins for him to pick up. Absolutely. Michael already has the mark, but his fill ball could be very, whoops, through that one in the ditch. So 251 is his final score, and now Michael Pathé needs a mark and six pins, and he is the winner.
Well, remember, Michael threw a five count on the last frame. He could actually make a spare and still throw a five and end up with a tie. But the, the mark is the big point. And he leaves the nine pin. He says, okay, okay, now I gotta calm down and make this one. Michael started off with three spares, this game into a double, so on his easy spares, he's been pretty good. It's just, uh, he left some tough stuff in there. Lots of pressure for a 7th, 8th grader. Lots of pressure for a man who's 45 years old. Well, you'd know that better than I would, Michael. <laughs> Look at this, he made it. He made it. What a pressure ball. Now he needs six. six. So what do you do here? Do you fire it right at the head pin? I, I think he's got to do just what he's been doing all game long. He, he's only throwing one count on the five. I think he's got to go for the pocket and uh, do the best he can. Best he can. I think if you can fire it at the head pin, you can still go through the, through the nose and leave a, what we call a green charge. You can still get five. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you just got to go for the pocket. Do the same thing you've been doing all game. And he's going to do it. He's going to get six. Five. We got a tie. We go into a ninth. Oh, that wait a minute, wait a minute, he foul. It was a foul. Oh, no, so John Schramm put down a foul. Hold on, we're getting some confirmation here. You're, oh, the, ones, you're the one who knows the foul lights here. John says he fouled. Everyone's mumbling, he went over the foul line, went over the foul line. Oh, man. Well, that was a foul, Michael. I just got a, an official confirmation on it. What she did be said, I don't know. But in any case, Scott Crowley wins 251-246. So there's our winner. Wow. Exciting finish. Seventh and eighth grade match. Let's see if we can top it with the ninth and tenth.